The next morning, everyone but Mr. and Mrs. MacRob left the castle right after breakfast. Mr. and Mrs. MacRob stayed behind to guard the castle. Rollo and Tweety were the last to leave. Rollo and Tweety went to a nearby inn and ate sandwiches for lunch. Poor Mrs. MacRob said, "Rollo, what do you mean?" asked Tweety. She was so sad when she waved goodbye," said Rollo. "You mean she sniffled and blew her nose?" said Tweety. Tweety jumped from his chair. "That's it!" he cried. "Back to the castle, Rollo. It is time to catch our ghost." We must be as quiet as a ghost," said Tweety. "Right," said Rollo. "Then what? We look for the ghost," said Tweety. "Rollo, you look upstairs. I will look downstairs." Rollo climbed up to the highest tower. He looked over the edge. "This is very high," said Rollo. He got a rope. And tied the end to a pillar. He tied the other end around his waist. He leaned far over the edge. Snap! Went the rope. Down went Rollo, right into the moat. Mister MacRob fished poor Rollo out of the moat. What are you doing here? Asked Mister MacRob. Please do not tell anyone you saw me," said Rollo. "Mum's the word," said Mister MacRob. Tweety was in the great hall. Suddenly, he heard "kerchoo." Tweety turned around. It was Rollo. "What happened to you?" asked Tweety. "I fell into the moat," said Rollo. Just then, they heard a loud "kerchoo." It came from the library.